Welcome to Insight Hub, the video series dedicated to the world of data and brought to you by Miracle's Data Practice. Hi, and welcome to Insight Hub video series. I am Pushpalata Pasham, and I am working as a machine learning research associate at Miracle Innovation Lab. Today, I am going to talk about how we can evaluate the performance of machine learning models using IBM SPSS Modeler to predict room occupancy. In today's agenda, we will have an uh, overview on the use case, a brief description on uh, IBM SPSS Modeler and machine learning, and about a data mining process called CRISP-DM methodology. We will be discussing about data auditing, model building, and evaluation phases, followed by live demo. Let's have an overview on the use case. The data which we have used for this use case is collected from a sensor that is kept in a room. The sensor collects the information every minute about temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide levels, etc. in the room. We have built a model using this data, and depending upon the model predictions, we have predicted whether the room is occupied or not. And based upon the predictions, we have sent a message to an IoT device to turn on or turn off the lights based upon the occupancy and thereby saving the power. For this use case, we will be building a predictive model in this video. Let us start with IBM SPSS Modeler. It is an IBM tool used to build predictive models using statistical and data mining algorithms without any previous programming knowledge. We can do data analysis, data manipulations, data transformations very easily with this tool. It will provide a drag and drop functionality to create streams very easily. We can integrate the models created in the IBM SPSS Modeler with different tools like R, BA tools like Cognos, Tableau, and we can even deploy the created streams online using IBM Watson Machine Learning Service provided by IBM Cloud. Machine Learning. It is a field of computer science that gives computers an ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. The process of learning begins with observations or data that can be collected from different data sources. The data needs to get analyzed in order to find useful information and hidden patterns to make better decisions in future based on historical data. We can perform all this using a CRISP-DM methodology, which we will discuss in our next slide. Coming to CRISP-DM methodology, which stands for Cross-Industry Standard Process for Data Mining. IBM SPSS Modeler follows this method and it is a data mining process which is divided into six major phases through which we can handle a business problem. The business understanding it is the first stage of process which is to understand what we want to accomplish from a business perspective. Also, we can uncover important factors which influences the outcome. Second phase is the data understanding. In this phase, we can explore the data set like find out the number of records, attributes, and what are the input attributes and targets and we can also even check whether our data set is having any missing values, null values, streams, outliers, or not. Next is the data preparation one. If data set contains any missing values or null values, we will fix them in this phase using operations like selecting the data, cleaning, merging the data, and other operations. Modeling phase. We need to select a model which is nothing but a machine learning algorithm, and we have to apply it on our data set. And coming to the evaluation phase, we need to evaluate the model based on accuracy. We can access the degree to which the model meets our business objective. And finally, is the deployment phase. Overcoming all the pitfalls, the model is now ready for deployment. Users can score the input on the model which we have built. Coming to the next slide, that is the data auditing phase. It is equal to data preparation phase, which we have discussed earlier. Data auditing is an important stage in the machine learning process as it overcomes all the flaws in our data and provides us a high quality data set for better accuracy and predictions. We can audit the data for missing values, outliers, and we can overcome them using some operations like join, merge, and other operations. And we can have an overview on the whole data set by performing some summary statistics also. After data auditing, we will be having a high quality data set which is completely ready for model building. We will train the data set using different models. We will evaluate the models based upon characteristics like accuracy, probability value, confusion matrix, RMSE, error rate, and like this. So, like this, by following a step-by-step -step procedure, we can build an effective predictive application. Once the model is built, we have to evaluate it using a test data set. 
and we can find with how much accuracy the model is predicting the results. So let us see a demo on how we can um, evaluate the performance of machine learning models. IBM SPSS modeler follows a CRISP-DM method to build predictive models. We can see the phases on the right side. Now we are going to evaluate the performance of machine learning models suggested by auto classifier node for predicting the room occupancy. The data set has been imported into the stream, into the IBM SPSS modeler, which has been generated from the sensor. So this is the data set. Let's just have a preview. So our data set contains totally 8143 records with six fields. So it's just a preview of the data set. So that's why we are shown with 10 records, top 10 records. As we have imported the data set into our modeler successfully, we need to now audit the data set, right? So now just click add a data audit node to the stream and just see whether our data set contains any missing values or null values. As we can see here, these four columns are, are um, having missing values here because as it contains less number of records than 8143. So now we can overcome these missing values by clicking here, by going to the quality tab. Just check, go with the, like we need to remove the null values, right? Just go with the method in order to remove those null values. Just click on the method with which we want to replace the missing values and just click on OK. Now we'll be able to, like this we need to do for every column that is having missing values or null values. Now just click on the generate and generate a missing value super node which will replace all the missing values in your, in your data set. So once we click on generate missing value super node, this node will get appended to our stream. Now once you check again for missing values, then we can see that all the missing values have been replaced with the mean. So like this, we can replace the missing values. This is one way. And IBM SPSS model is also having auto data preparation node, which will automatically replace all the missing values. When we click on when we click on the auto data preparation node and going to settings tab, we'll find an option here to replace like uh, all if the continuous fields are having any missing values, we can replace them with mean. Like this, we can uh, select that option and we can replace the missing values. As uh, we can see, as the data set is having some missing values here, and now using the auto data preparation node, I'm replacing all the values with mean. Like the, these are all the two ways which are through which we can replace the missing values. So now once the missing values phase is like our data auditing is done, we can filter the filter the columns which are not necessary for our model building. So like if I don't want humidity in my data in our predictive model, then we can remove this humidity phase like this. So in our case now every column is necessary. So I'm not removing anything. And we can do this using the filter node. Now we need to specify what are all the inputs and what are all the targets for our predictive model. And as we need to predict the room occupancy, that is whether the room is occupied or not. So I'm keeping occupancy as target and rest of the fields as input. So now, once the data preparation is completely done, we need to go with the modeling phase. For model building purpose, we'll be having so many number of machine learning algorithms here. So we can't choose any one algorithm that can best fit our data set. For this purpose, we'll be having the auto classifier node, which will suggest the top algorithms that will best fit our data set. So once we add a data auto classifier node for our stream, we'll be provided and just click on run. And then we'll be provided with a golden adjet here. This will specify the top algorithms that are best fitting our data set. Here we can see decision tree with 99% of accuracy is best fitting our data set to predict the room occupancy than Bayesian networks and classification and regression trees. Like this, user can directly now use C5 to build to build a predictive model to pred in order to predict the room occupancy. Now the modeling phase is done. Now we need to let's just go with the results. As we can see, these are these are all the actual values 
which we have used to build the predictive model. And these are all the predicted values by the model for the room occupancy. Here we can see that the actual value is 1, that is room is occupied. But the model thinks that the room is not occupied based upon the conditions that it has learned and it all will be based upon some probabilities. So like this we are going to build a predictive model. Auto classifier node suggested top 3 algorithms that are best fitting our data set. Let's just have individual analysis report of individual model. Just click on analysis tab and click run. So auto classifier node suggested C5 as the topmost algorithm, right? So we can say like on what basis the auto classifier node is suggesting C5 as topmost means we can see the classification of C5 is more when compared to Bayesian and classification and regression tree algorithms. And we can see clearly that with 99% of accuracy, C5 is correctly classifying 8082 records. And classification and regression tree is, uh, is classifying with 94% of accuracy and Bayesian is with 93% of accuracy. So based upon the accuracy level for the classification, auto classifier node is suggesting that C5 is the best algorithm that is classifying whether the room should be occupied or not. So we are suggested with the C5 algorithm. So like this, we can choose which algorithm is best fitting our data set. So now once the model is fixed, then we can go with the test data set and we can use directly the golden nugget generated here to this test data set and once we click on, once we go with the results. So these are all the actual values and these are all the predicted values and here we can see the room should not be occupied and this is the actual value which we have given for the model. Now the model has learned that the room should be occupied. So based upon the conditions that it has learned by itself. So now and it all will be based upon some probabilities. So like this we can check which algorithm will be best fitting our data set and we can evaluate the performance of machine learning models. Thank you for watching a video on Inside Hub. The video series brought to you by Miracles Data Practice. For more videos, please visit miraclesoft.com slash insighthub.